Melmerge is the process of creating personalised documents from a form template consisting of variables which act as placeholders, making each copy of that document unique. The whole idea of mail merging your documents is to, in essence, have information that would change, like names, dates, terms, automatically filled in for you. Now, Arthur gets this information from the tenancies that you have already created in your system. For the example we're going to have a look at today, I'm going to use a sample tenancy agreement to demonstrate how adding variables and merging the contract works. The first thing that you will need to do is make sure that your document is in Word format. If you don't have a contract of your own, you can have a look at the sample one that we offer. To access that, you'll need to go to the Arthur store and then choose Mail Merge Template. You can download this by immediately importing it into your account, um, or you can download it and have a look at what the contract looks like. Alternatively, you can use your own contract. So the first thing that you'll need to do is make sure that your document is in Word format. If it's a PDF, you can easily convert this online and save it to your computer. Once you have your document in Word format, you'll need to copy and paste variables provided in Arthur into this contract. Now, to access these, we're going to come here to Documents and then here to Mail Merge Templates. Our variables will be kept within this section here. It's important that you get your variables from the tenancy section because your tenancy agreements will sit at tenancy level. Within this section, we have different subcategories making it easier to navigate and find what you need. Almost all of the variables that you'll need will be in this general section here. All you have to do at this stage is find the variables that you need to put into your contract, the tenancy start date, for example. To copy, you just need to click on the variable itself and then paste into your contract wherever that would sit. So your completed document should look something like this um, instead of having the information that you need specific to a tenancy you will have variables sat in their place you'll need to save this document to your computer and then upload it into your account to do that you'll need to come back to the mail merge index page and upload a new template here you'll need to give the document a name and then choose a file to upload. Your model will be tenancy as the document will be merged at tenancy level. You also have the option to share this merged um, template with any letting agents. If there are variables that you would like to add that are not already included, you can add your own custom variables. These will need to be added against the document, and you can do so like this. So to add a custom field, simply click on this big button up here. The subject is what you want to add and how it will appear in a list. Make sure this is clear enough for you to understand the information that you need to put into the contract. For example, I'm going to add an additional tenant. The variable is how your variable will appear in the contract. And then the order is the order in which your subjects will appear in your list. Chronological order is the best way. Your input type is the type of value your answer will take. In this case, the additional tenant name will be text, but you have different options that you can use here. The width is the size of the space you will need. For longer answers, you might need a larger space. And then you have a default value. So this is if you have a standard answer or a more frequent value. However, in the case of an additional tenant, names will always be different. 
you then need to save this custom field and then copy this variable by highlighting it, right clicking and copying it and pasting it into your contract where this should sit. Once you've copied and pasted the variable into your contract, you will need to save and replace the file that you have saved in the system. To do that, you'll find the example here, click on this drop down arrow and replace with new file. Now you've got a complete template, you will need to merge it with a tenancy. So you first need to find any tenancy. Now there are several places to merge a template, but I'm going to do so by going to documents and then mail merge. You'll need to give the document a name and then a document type, which will be a contract. You will then need to choose your tenancy template. If you have multiple templates sat in your system, you can choose whichever one you need. But for this example, we will use the one that we've looked at. You'll then need to fill in your custom field. So this is your, these are your additional fields that you have added to the contract yourself. And continue. This final stage will allow you to share this merge document with any one of these groups here. All tenants refers to all the tenants on this specific tenancy. You can go straight on to create a digital signature if you wish, um, or you can save the document to the tenancy. Download after save allows you to save the merged document as a Word file within the tenancy document section. To preview it, you will need to download and open in Word. Alternatively, you can convert the document to a PDF, which allows you to preview the document in the system. So previewing this document now, you'll be able to see that all of the information from this tenancy has been pulled in to the contract and is sat where it should be. And my custom field of my name of the additional tenant is sat in here as we typed it in. And that is how you add variables and mail merge a contract within your account.